So in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the bassoon reed. Here we have the tip, this be the very, very top of the reed where the opening is. These are gonna be your blades. You're gonna reach the barky section of the reed. That's the collar, but it's not very important. Here we have the first wire, the second wire, and then this will be the wrapping. So I know many of you will be purchasing bassoon reeds either online or through your local you know, bassoon reed dealer, uh, but I'll give you a few things to look for when buying bassoon reeds and to tell you what bassoon reeds are good. The first thing is when the reeds are dry, you're not going to want any of the wires to move around loosely. You know, they should all be snug, but not choking the reed. Two, the tip of your reed should be even. When looked at from the side, they're the exact same length. You're gonna want each blade to look fairly similar. You're also going to wanna make sure that the tube into the reed is as circular as possible with no leaks. This is what's gonna fit on your vocal. And if this is not circular, your reed's going to leak. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the wrapping, I have a shrink wrap on mine. However, any wrapping that stays conformed to the reed when the reed is dry is a good wrapping. So if my reed dries and the wrapping starts to fall off, we need to look for a different solution. You're gonna want even tapers on the blades of the reed. You don't want one side to be too concave while the other is not. And lastly, the tip of the reed. You wanna make sure the blades are very thin and even. The tip opening is also very important. The tip opening is what's going to determine how much air you have to use to make the reed play. Now a tip opening that's too open is gonna be very hard to play on, your low notes will be very difficult, and the response will be very slow. A tip opening that's too close may be very easy to play on, but it might be too easy to play on. The pressure from your lips might stop the reed from vibrating. So we need something just right in the middle. Now, we're able to adjust the tip opening of our reed using just a pair of pliers. So, as you would think, if you want your reed more open, you would squeeze just this first wire very lightly horizontally. Now, if you wanted your tip opening closed, you would squeeze it down very slightly. Now, I want the smallest, smallest movements possible. If you squeeze and you see the blades open, you've probably done too much already. 